If it seems as if I've been upgrading a lot of different components here in the home studio, that's because I have. And today we're gonna to talk about the Logitech keyboard, the Ergo 860. Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty Weaver here and welcome to the channel. If you're brand new, I help you navigate this world of digital tech and social media. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you wanna learn more about any of those different areas. Now, if you watched a previous video, you know that I talked a lot about my ergonomic setup. And today we're gonna to continue with that and specifically talking about my newest keyboard. Now, I am no stranger to ergonomic keyboards. I've been using them for quite some time. My background is in information technology. And when you spend a lot of time behind the computer, you do a lot of typing and you can feel it on your fingers. So using an ergonomic keyboard has definitely relieved a lot of that pain and a lot of that stress. And it also helps me improve my posture as well. So I've been using up till now the Logitech K350, the Wave keyboard, and most recently purchased this new one, which is the Ergo K860 keyboard. And very quickly, I have already adjusted to it. Now, if you're brand new to ergonomic keyboards, it may take you a little while to adjust to the finger placements, but if you've been using them for a while and you're looking to upgrade, this is gonna be an easy upgrade for you because the letters and the keyboards are pretty much the same. It's just a little bit different of a feel. Now, I wanna walk you through some of the features that I really like about this specific keyboard. That way, if you're looking to upgrade or change out your keyboard, you know what to look for and what to expect in this model. Now, right off the bat, one of the things that I like about this particular keyboard compared to my other one is the amount of real estate that it takes up on my desk. This one is much thinner, it has a thinner profile that makes it look better on my desk, honestly. And that's one of the reasons that I really like this keyboard. It comes with a nice split key design and you'll notice that in the middle of the keyboard, even the space bar is split in half, which is one of the things that I like. Some of the keyboards that I've used before, the space bar is one continuous big key and it makes a large clicking noise, which I didn't really like. So I definitely like the new layout for this keyboard. And then in addition to that, I definitely love to have my number keypad on my keyboard attached. I love being able to quickly maneuver over to my numbers and then type those away. Now, the feel of this keyboard is really great as well. Compared to my last keyboard, you can definitely hear all the keys, but this has a nice soft response to it when you're actually clicking away on your keys and it's not loud and uh, one of those things that would irritate you if you're doing a lot of typing. Now, one of the unique components about this keyboard is that it has the wrist rest attached directly to the keyboard. Now, as I first started to begin typing on it, I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna like the fact that it was permanently attached to it. But as I began to type more and more, it really has not bothered me. In fact, I think I actually now prefer it being attached because it's not constantly moving. It's not one of those rests that I constantly have to readjust or it doesn't quite fit the dimensions or the height of the keyboard. Because it is attached to the keyboard, my wrist rests nicely on top of the keys and it's really comfortable to use. Now this keyboard does come with the ability to raise it up like most ergonomic keyboards do. So if you need a little bit more height on your keyboard, you can simply unhook the two tabs on the bottom and raise it up and continue to type. Now underneath the keyboard, you'll notice that there is a placement for your batteries. This does require two AAA batteries and you'll also see there is a USB dongle. This will allow you to plug it directly into your computer and use the wireless transmission. However, if you wanna use Bluetooth, you can do this as well. Now, because I'm using a Mac and a PC, I'm taking advantage of the USB dongle and the Bluetooth. Now on my Mac computer, I simply plug the dongle into the front of the machine and it automatically recognizes my keyboard. And on my Windows machine, I set up by Bluetooth. So I simply hold down the number two button on my keyboard and then pair it up with my Bluetooth by turning on the Bluetooth functionality and putting a code and then it syncs up easily. Now, similar to my Logitech Master 3 mouse, this keyboard allows you to connect to up to three devices. So it makes it really easy to switch between my Mac computer and my Windows computer all by touching a button, either selecting option one, option two, or option three, and that will allow me to toggle between my Mac and my PC. 
Now the only drawback, and in my opinion is not that big of a deal that you may find on this keyboard, is that it doesn't have the LED backlighting. So if you're working in a dark space or you need that assistance with your keys to be able to have them illuminated, this keyboard doesn't have it. Now I've been typing for a long time and I know where all my keys are so it doesn't bother me at all. But having a backlight on it just in those dark situations probably would have been a nice little add on to this keyboard. But outside of that, this thing is great. Now, if you're in the market for an ergonomic keyboard, it will take you a little bit to learn it, but because this one is a very simple ergonomic design and it has the comfort of the wrist, I think you'll be able to pick it up pretty quickly. Now, if you haven't got a chance to check out that video about my ergonomic setups, make sure you check that out where I talk more about my desk, my stool, my anti-fatigue mat, and different things that really do help you improve your overall productivity. Now, I'm gonna link to this keyboard in the description below, along with the mouse as well, because there are chances that you can get the combo pack. And if you're upgrading your keyboard, you might be in the market to upgrade your mouse as well. I'm a huge fan of Logitech, and I've been using their products for a long, long time. So it's always nice when they come out with a new product that actually is functional and that people actually enjoy using. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.